Good morning, everyone. It's time for Miss Bishop's morning coffee. I'm very excited today to show you something that's new to me. And I have added something new to Arbuckle Acres, the farm. Um, I am installing bees. So we have a new beehive and we have about 10,000 bees to install into our hive. And so today I'm going to um, put up on my bee outfit and we are going to walk over to the beehive and install the hive. So I'm very excited to get ready for this. I took a bee class and to learn about them. I bought the whole bee outfit with the, the head, I guess they call it a bonnet, and the white outfit, which you will see me in. And um, I had to go and pick up the bees, and I had to travel with 10,000 bees in my car. Now, they were in a crate. Um, it was a, it's three pounds is what it weighs. And... Um, and they were all in the crate and a few of them got out and kind of buzzed around the car, but it didn't bother me. They didn't bother me at all because a lot of people are scared of bees, but I'm hoping that by the time we are done with maybe today's episode or another episode, you won't be scared of bees anymore. Um, not honeybees anyway, because these are honeybees and these honeybees are from Canada. Even though they were shipped from California, they originated in Canada. And um, I'm not sure if I'm saying their name right, but they are Sacatraz bees. So um, let's go check it out. Okay, so I've got my suit on. I've got my bee bonnet. I have my white outfit on and my boots. And I have gloves that I'm wearing. There's another type of glove that comes with it that covers everything, but it was really big and bulky and I didn't think I could work with that. And so far the bees have been really friendly and um, I haven't opened them yet, but I've had a few loose ones and so they were super friendly. So, all right, so I wish my hat didn't look so goofy on me. There's something going on with it way up in there. I don't know. Let me, I can fix it later, I guess. Okay, so let me see if I can find a place for this so that we can watch it and get busy. All right, see you in a minute. Hey, everybody. I'm getting ready to install my bees for the first time. And this is the area that I chose for um, putting the bees in. And you can see I put a uh, five-strand electric fence around them. And my stand I'm putting them on is a little bit high. It'll be easier for me to work that way. And um, see this white thing on the top of that part of my hive is the bees. And they came all the way from California like that. All right, so I'm gonna put my gloves back on. And I'm going to start out by taking this can off. So here we go, you guys ready? Ah! <laughs> Okay, so I'm supposed to just like pull it out, I guess. This one's a little bit tricky because it's got like, they built up a lot of wax because they came all the way from California. They drove, they've been in the in a truck for what, what, three, almost 4,000 miles. And when I pull this out, I'm expecting that there'll be some bees on it. And then I'm going to shake them off. Oh, can you hear them? Whoa, here they are. All right, so shaking those bees off there. Now I have a friend of mine, actually so my stepsister told me, whatever you do, don't make the bees angry. So there they are, all of them. So I took it out, right? And then it says, shake the bees on the jar into the box. I'm doing that. And then it says, Pull the tab for the queen and shake off the bees. Okay, so we'll put that down there. And the bee, oh my goodness, they're all around the queen here. So I'm gonna pull the tab for the queen. And I'm so excited to see the queen. Pull out the tab for the queen, huh? Oh, there's a million bees around it. 
she's doing. All right, bees. Settle down. I'm sorry if I'm making you mad. There she is, and she's alive. Look. There's my queen. Can you see her in there? The queen. Long live the queen. All right, so what I have to do is I have to, uh, I guess I leave the cork in there because there's a little cork here at the end right there. So I leave that there, and I'm going to wrap a rubber band around her. Um, I'm going to put this bee thing down. I'm going to wrap the rubber band around her. And I'm going to put her on one of the frames. I'm back. I'm good here. I'm just looking for a rubber band. So far, the bees have been very nice to me so far, right? All right, I'm going to move my instructions somewhere. I'm going to pull out a frame. So this is a frame, and I am going to wrap the B around that. I feel like I'm supposed to take that cork out. Eh, I'm not sure. If I have to take out the cork, I'll have to come back. Okay. But she is there. I guess I don't take out the cork until a couple of days so I get really used to her. But they've been traveling with her for five days, so they should be used to her by now. All right, so I'm going to put this rubber band around this frame to hold in the queen. Long live the queen, right? Because I really, you have to have a queen in order to have a hive, right? Because they're all doing all the work for the queen. All right, the dogs are just, I don't know, got excited because somebody drove up. So, there it is. Holding in my queen. See her there? Holding her in. I'm gonna put her in. I'm gonna put them in. Okay, so that part's done. Let's see what the directions say next. Okay, now I'm gonna take the the whole set of bees, and I want to see you guys to see this. Look at this. Look at all those bees in there. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. I don't know, but that's a three pound package of bees. But I'm thinking that's about 10,000 bees in there. Crazy, right? I got some tools in here. Oh, I know something really important that I didn't do that I gotta do right now. See this thing right here? This thing is a um, how the bees go in and out of the hive. And I gotta put it on the smallest setting right now. This is a larger setting, but I have to put it on the smaller one because I don't want them to leave quite yet. I want them to get used to this being their hive. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, put that in real quick. I believe that that goes right here, the bottom of the hive. And I'll show it to you in a moment. Let's see, like that, I believe. See if I can show what I just did with that. See, I have it so that, see that little opening right there? That's where the bees are gonna, I think you can see it, right? There you go, a little opening right there. That's where the bees are gonna come in and out of once I get them all in there. All right, so this part I'm really unsure about, but I think I'm going to open up, I don't know, shake them down, open it up, I don't know. And, no, and then uh, get them all in the hive. And you're right in the good spot to see all that, so. All right, so here's a bee tool. So I'm gonna use to open it, I think. So that's me. Let's see if, look at that. Look at all those bees in there. And then see, remember the queen over there? There's the queen, they're all hanging out with the queen. And I didn't get all the bees out because I don't know, I couldn't figure out how to open it. There's still some down in there, and I'll probably play with that a little bit longer. So I'll put my frames back in. Watch out, guys. Okay, there's my rubber band. to 
can put a top with a hole on it. I'm gonna put that there. Cause that is where I'm gonna put their food. Okay. Somewhere. There it is. It has their food in it. I'm going to put that upside down. Oh, look. They're loving that already, aren't they? Okay. I got to put that upside down right in here. There. I hope you guys find your way. Okay. And I put my other box on top. Oh, there's a bunch of these right there. I don't know why they're there. Maybe I should guide them gently in. It feels like they're lost. All right, so hang on. Let me try that. I didn't make it in the high, which is quite a few. I um, don't know what to do about that. Not for that yet. This one's next. fun fact about bees. Did you know that bees don't like dark colors? They don't because predators are normally dark. So think about a big bear. They are normally dark colors. So if you're around a beehive, you don't want to wear dark colors because they'll think you're a predator and they might come out. So that's why beekeepers wear white. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a lot about bees. Have a great one. See you next time.